Well, welcome back, everyone. It's early spring. You may not know it from looking outside, but early spring means the South High Marathon Dance. Now, for many of our viewers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But for new viewers, we decided to bring in two of the key people to discuss this year's event. So with me are Katie Washburn and Pat Fish. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, tell me about this year's event. This year's event, we're actually doing a circus theme, and our student committee came to a decision of doing the circus. So right now we have tons of kids working in our gyms, creating decorations that have to do with the circus, and making tickets, elephants, and all sorts of things like that. Sure. You know, having covered this many years here on Look TV, I, I'm stunned every time I walk into that auditorium or the gym, wherever that is. It, uh, <laughs> it's just so much work goes into this. How, how much preparation do you need? When do you start? It, it takes a very, very long time between deciding recipients, planning out themes, different ideas that we want to do with the dance every year. We start every year in about fall and work all the way up until March. My God, that's, that's like six, seven months of preparation, yes. right? It's a never-ending process. <laughs> and both of you are chair people. Yes. yes. That's right. Okay, so you're the big shots. You're yes. the ones that everybody comes to to complain oh, yeah. and get everything organized and make yes. sure everything's on track. Yes. Yep. There's actually six of us. Total. Oh, there are six yes. of you. Good, so you have a committee. Yes. yes. Oh, that's wonderful. It, um, so what does it mean to you personally? Katie, I'll start with you. Um, personally, it means much more than just a 28-hour dance. It means... When our, it's a meaning of our school all coming together and everyone, it doesn't matter if you're friends with this person or you're in that group, everyone comes together to make the process just an incredible experience for us and the recipients and everyone supporting. Oh my God, it has such community support. How about you? What does it mean to you, Pat? Just the community coming together around, like, everyone's got your back. Even if we make a decision that some people don't agree with, mm -hmm. we do something wrong, everyone's got our back. It's a whole family coming together in our community just to help sure out is. with the dance. And if our viewers need to know the scope of this, you raise close to $500,000 at this event. Yes. How many recipients this year? 39 total. How were they selected? Um, they're selected, we have a student committee that's around 100 kids that come. Anyone's welcome to any of the meetings. And we decide, we go through summaries of each person and we narrow it down and we just select as many as we can. We had close to 100 applications, mm -hmm. so we had to narrow that number down, which was very difficult. Well, you know what? Everyone that we've come in contact with uh, was so worthy of it. It's and don't expect it and are so grateful yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this isn't the first time, right? How many years have you been doing this? This is the 37th year of the marathon dance. <laughs> All right, Pat, let's do a little math here, okay? <laughs> right. 37 years, 37 how much years. money? Over 37 years. Over $3.5 million. That's with an M, million, right? <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> That's look, quite a bit of money. We're looking to get over that half a million this year and bump it up to four million. Got you. Just now, during the weekend, and I know it's, it's very well controlled, but over the weekend the public is allowed to come in. Yes. What are those specific hours? Anytime, I think it closes on Friday night at 11, I believe. So 7 to 11, Friday night, and then you can come back in the morning as early as, I think the doors open up for seven, at 7, right. and then you can come back anytime until the end of the dance, which ends around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock Saturday night. And you know, when it ends on Saturday night, it's so emotional. It's yes. unbelievable yes. to actually witness this. And we'll have coverage of this on Monday, so we can find out exactly how you did, <laughs> if you're still standing, yeah. and, uh, and just get a real rundown of what happened. But uh, best of luck Thank to you, you the Thank committee, you. and everybody at South High. This truly is one of the benchmark events of the year for the North Country. And I really commend you for doing this. Well, thank thank you. you. Okay, so great. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and if you'd like to see this interview for a second time, head to our website, looktvonline.com. Now, we've also put a link to, us, to the South High Marathon Dance website if you'd like to make a donation. This year, over 800 students are participating, so please make a donation.